Hey guys, welcome to the Manga Mark channel. Today I am watching One Piece episodes 524 and 525. Uh, we are on our way to Fishman Island. We got some bombs dropped on, on us on the last episode, you know. Luffy's straw hat was once Roger's straw hat, which is just, that was crazy, right? He's obviously passed that down to Shanks, which I love. Um, makes sense now why, you know, it means so much to Shanks. Um, and then also about Kuma guarding the sunny and having that be like a mission that was programmed into him even after he lost his personality, which is insane, you know, and like Zoro was talking about it in the last episode to be like, what, what, what are the motivations? Like, why, why is Kuma going so far for us? You know, because he's saved our asses a bunch of times now. Um, you know, what, is it just the connection with Dragon? We don't know. Like, like, we just need to wait to get some answers about that. Right? But Kuma is just, my God, like, uh, like Frankie was saying, what turned out to be one of our greatest allies. Right? Um, but right now, we are obviously heading down to Fishman Island and this Caribo guy has showed up again. <laughs> I don't think he knows what he's getting himself into, right? It's just, uh, I, I don't think he was paying close attention to what happened to the pacifistas. Otherwise, he, he would never dream of starting trouble here with the new and improved straw hats, right? But let's see how it goes. Let's see how this guy fares against the crew. Um, guys, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Everyone that has and comes back, watches, comments, likes all these videos. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's do this. One Piece episode 524. Let's go. Right, yeah. That is definitely just like the one that... Yeah, Nami recognises it. Uh, was it Arlong Park, wasn't it? Luffy swung it around to beat them all up. Was it? Moment. Oh, it's the actual same... Oh, no way! Yeah, you... Oh, my God, I can't believe it's the actual same one. <laughs> yeah, the trauma. The trauma. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Momu has very bad memories of this crew. He's out of there. He's gone. Oh. Oh, does he not realise? Oh, he doesn't realise he's by himself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Frankie just casually walking over to him like, Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I thought this guy was a Logia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's acting very different now than he was in front of the fake straw hat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I saw I saw that coming. <laughs> oh Jesus! Yeah, come on, Sanji, get it together. <laughs> Rehabilitation, less than. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the further down they go, it's going to get colder. <laughs> yeah, Chopper, don't... Don't... Let him, yeah, let him deliver his jokes, Chopper. <laughs> yeah. I love that they're going in depth. Whoa, what's the diag? Is that Shenron? 
All right, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. If there is a ghost, like Luffy's going to ask it to join the crew without question. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't pick up on any of that. It was a good explanation, Nami. They just <laughs> weren't with it. What is that? Oh, that's cool. Oh, God, yeah, like this, this arc. Okay, this, we're just going to get to see some great things, isn't it? Like just the setting by by itself is just so exciting. Like, I, there hasn't been this kind of, like, adventure, like, crazy arc since, like, Sky Pier, where you're like, right, what are we going to find when we get here? Yeah. Oh, what was that? Is this guy a Logia? I'm pretty sure he is a Logia type. What is that? Is he just pretending to be captured by these ropes? The, the demon that rules the realm of... Oh god, what's this going to be? Hmm. Oh my god, is it the Kraken? Oh man, as it is the Kraken. Oh... Nah, this... Here it comes. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Oh, I love it. Yeah. How do we deal with this? Nah, nah, Luffy's, Luffy's gonna, Luffy's gonna go for this thing. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, does he, does he want the Kraken to be the thing that pulls the ship? Oh, Luffy. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Who's draw? oh my god, Robin's drawing it. <laughs> Oh, that's what I love that we've bumped into the Kraken and yet the comedy music's playing. <laughs> I think this just shows like how crazy the crew's got after the time skip. Yeah, and this guy's seeing it all, he's like, what's with these guys? Nah, nah. This is the squad you're with right here. Oh my god, Sanji. <laughs> I love that there's, there's a picture of Kokoro. There's a picture of Kokoro mixed in with the pictures of Nami and Robin. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, wait a minute. I thought he was... I thought he was Koribo. Have I got that mixed up? Oh my god. Yeah, Momo, get out of there. <laughs> oh my god. There goes the crew. <laughs> Zoro, come on, man. <laughs> I don't like them, but Jesus Christ. Chicken Voyage? Oh, nice, Frankie.
Yeah, calm down with you, like this. Oh! Right. Can we trust this guy? Oh! Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and give it to those three. Perfect. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, no, did they not? <laughs> oh. This reminds me when these three went deep sea diving, like, before we got to Jaya, and, like, the barrels together. Yeah, Zoro, put your sword away. <laughs> oh. Yeah, let's see some of the new weapons, Frankie. Nice. Yeah, I think you guys need to just get to a kind of safer distance away from this thing. Although it's so big, like, where is a safe distance? Chopper? Oh! Oh, nice chopper. Right. See, this is going to be the thing. Chopper's forms. Let's see how improved each of them are. Oh, my God. I love this. Oh, Robin. Oh, yes. It's underwater as well. So, she'll be feeling it. Oh, man. This is great. Everybody getting a chance to show off some of the stuff they've learned. Nice. Oh, Luffy, what are you going to show us? Oh, it's going to end here, isn't it? Ah, come on. Hmm. Right, this is exciting. Luffy's saying he has a new technique, and it obviously involves uh, third gear. Excited to see it, but I loved that there. I loved every, well, not everybody, but like most of them getting a chance to kind of show off results of their training, you know? And it's, it was quick, like, right. New weapon from Frankie, um, you know, like improved version of Chopper's guard point. So much, much bigger. Excellent. You know, Robin being able to create giant hands. But it looked like it was like, it was, she just made up, joined a whole bunch of like a normal sized, like okay, arms and hands together to form these giant ones. That's great. That's smart. Um... So yeah, I, I love that. And I, I love the fact that we haven't we haven't really seen what they can do and we're gonna get it kind of revealed like this, you know, like um you know, as and when required to like someone can be like, right, let me show you a new thing I've learned. I love that. I love that. Um I like <laughs> the fact that that is the same sea cow as Momu, the fact that that is Momu from our long part is fantastic, right? I do you know what way when I first saw it, I thought, oh cool, it's the same kind of, you know, sea monster as the one that Arlong had. Um, but I didn't expect it to be the exact same one. It's great. And the trauma of seeing Luffy and Sanji again. Fantastic. Uh, oh god. I wonder if we're gonna see any no. Well, did everybody get captured? Hachi told us that everybody except him got captured. Obviously, Momu wouldn't have been a part of that because he got sent flying <laughs> by Luffy. So I'm guessing that the rest of Arlong's crew have been captured, right? Um, but still, we've got we've got Hachi and Jimbe to look forward to seeing again, right? So that's fine. But oh man, I like like this is just it's, it feels like a sense of adventure in this arc, which I love. It's you know that we were the last bunch of arcs have been so heavy. Because it's been the, the 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 loom of death hanging over um, Ace and us like struggling to get there, and it's been like very serious. This feels like the first time we were going to Sky Pier. This is just this like right, what's in store for us here? We're excited. We're dealing with all these fantastic things like Nami's explaining all how like the sea currents and everything work. You know, it feels like when we were trying to get the knock up stream to get up to Sky Pier again. Um, I love it. 
I love it. You know, the cracking, getting the cracking involved. You know, there, there's certain things uh, in the world of pirates. When you think of like a, a pirate manga and you think, right, what are the things that are guaranteed to be in there? You know, you think of things like Blackbeard. You're like, right, Blackbeard's going to be mentioned. Um, you'd think the Kraken. The Kraken is a, is, a, is a, you know, that has got to be in there. Um, that's just like one of the most legendary things in like uh, Pirate Legend, the Kraken. Not even just Pirate Legend, like, you know, how many times have you heard the Kraken being referenced in anything to do with the ocean? Um, you know, uh, so I really hope it works. I hope Luffy does tame it. That would be fantastic. Imagine pulling up to Fishman Island with the Kraken, you know, pulling the ship. That's hilarious. Um, but yeah, guys, let's let's get into it. Let's just keep going. I, I'm wondering, what's this guy's name, though, that's there? Because I thought it was Caribou. But apparently the other guy's called Caribou. So what's this guy called? If it doesn't get mentioned in this episode, guys, let me know. <laughs> Because that's confusing me. Um, and also, is he pretending to be captured? Because I thought he was a Logia. We'll need to wait and see, right? So let's do this. One Piece episode 525. Let's go. Okay. Oh, Luffy, watch that bubble. Yeah, I forgot. I didn't think about that. Like, third gear in this, in this bubble. <laughs> it's danger. Oh! Oh! Haki! Using third gear with Haki? Yeah, but you're in the sea! Okay, this is interesting! Oh, Sanji! Yeah, his running's improved. <laughs> yeah, so now he can run underwater. <laughs> oh, this is cool, man. Nice. Oh, he's, okay, the Kraken's feeling that. He's grilled it. He's grilled an octopus. <laughs> How did he get out of the bubble, though? Like, he just dashed out of the bubble. Does he have to be able to get back into it? Oh. Oh, it's all right. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Yeah. Let me see stuff. Oh, it's just stuff that we've already seen. I was hoping we were going to see some Mihawk training there. Come on, Sanji. Oh, God. He's still... <laughs> Zora's still hanging on to the numbers from Sabori. <laughs> yeah. Luffy wants it. <laughs> Luffy wants it as a pet, guys. Come on. Calm down. Oh, elephant gun. Oh my god. Yeah, guys, Luffy's insane now, yeah. And is this the, people were saying to me about the, the visual kind of thing we for the armament of Haki? Is, oh, a shark? Is that what that is? With the fact that his hand changed colour? Okay. Yeah. Okay. The shark wearing a tank top. Right, we're going. We're definitely going to bump into that shark again at Fishman Island. Like, why else would that have just happened there? Like, we're definitely going to see that shark again. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, Robin, calm down. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what's this now? Yeah, really dark here. Like, I wonder how close we are to 
Fishman Island now. Right, 7,000. Yeah, so we... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Chopper. Like, how far away are we now? If we're that deep. Okay. Yeah, you, 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 no, you tried. Oh, searchlight. Perfect, Frankie. That's well, exactly what we need right now. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah, guys, like, Frankie's new form is growing on me. I'll, I'll give it that, like, especially with things like that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, oh God, what is it now? Oh, right, just the, the size of the sea monster. <laughs> there was lights in the sunny's eyes, so what? <laughs> Why did you use the nipple lights? <laughs> Oh no. Oh no, don't drop her. Do not touch a jellyfish. Yeah. Don't touch a giant jellyfish, Chopper. Come on. Yeah, get out of there, Frankie. Nice. Yeah. Ah, uh, see. Right, so we can't be using it. Yeah. If we use the the boss too many times, and the we're gonna. Yeah, that's that's why Robin. Yeah, <laughs> don't touch the jellyfish chopper. Okay. Yeah. Well. He can't have gotten far. He must be hiding somewhere on the ship. Unless he got threw off by mistake. Yeah, exactly. That's the only... Oh God, he's in this barrel. Yeah, is he hiding in a barrel on the ship? Okay. Right, yeah, low gear. The girl's Oh, no. No, no, no. We need to get this guy out of here. Okay. So he thinks that because... Yeah, he thinks because those three are gone... That he can deal with the rest of the crew. Oh, my God. Has Frankie noticed them? <laughs> Oh, yeah, Frankie. Please tell we have noticed. Oh, his name is Cannibal. <laughs> Frankie. Oh, when's he going to notice? <laughs> when's he going to notice that Frankie's right there? Oh... Uh... Oh, nice try. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Frankie just tilt the head to look as if to say, really? Really, brother? Yeah. Good. Perfect. Sorted. Nice, Frankie. Mr. in swim shows. <laughs> Frankie, nah, like, I love it. Frankie's on point. He's got everything under control. No. Are we here? Yeah. Okay, maybe not then. Oh, 
Oh god. Oh no. Oh guys. Oh, don't tell me the other three's gonna be inside this thing stock. Did they get caught by it as well? Oh no, okay, we got away. What the hell is that? What is that? Why does it have that voice? <laughs> is it just, is it like a giant fish man? Van der Decken? Is this, is it like a giant fish man? Like the one that we met on Foxy's crew? Oh, okay. The Flying Dutchman? Oh my god, another legendary pirate reference. So it's a Flying Dutchman, so that would be like Davy Jones? Okay, right. Another a uh, pirate legend, the Flying Dutchman. Um, you know, like it's supposed to be like was it Davy Jones Locker? Um, I didn't even think about that. You know, the Davy Jones stuff. Obviously, people will be more familiar with that kind of legend, probably from the um the Pirates of the Caribbean films. Uh, what they did there version of it and in that they were like they were under under the sea um and they were kind of like fishmen weren't they oh man i love that that so there you go and then they could, the flying dutchman would come up from under the sea oh but what did they say it was a van der decken van der decken is that our is that a real life pirate reference as well? I don't recognise it, but you know the way, like, the way it sounds, I'm like, hmm, I don't know. And is that who's on this ship? Is it this Van der Decken person that's on the Flying Dutchman? So maybe it's not going to, maybe we're not going to get the Davy Jones actual uh, thing, but the fact that we've just, we got the Kraken, you know, and now we're getting the Flying Dutchman, I feel like there's going to be like you know, it's too it's too perfect not to, especially with, um, you know the fact that it can be like Davy Jones could be a fish man, that would be great, you know that would be awesome. But where has Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji ended up? Are they going to be on this other ship? But obviously this other ship doesn't have like a coating right so it's obviously fishmen that are on it based on the silhouette as well there you could tell it was a fish man um but yeah what the hell is that big thing such a strange like such a, i did not expect that voice to come out of that <laughs> right um but oh man i'm hoping that we like in the next couple of episodes that we get this is us setting up, right, what's going to be happening going forward for Fishman Island. Um, oh, God. What do, we do, what do we do as well with this uh, this cannibal guy? Like, do we have to take him with us to Fishman? I would just throw him off the ship. He seems like a scumbag. Just throw him out of there. You know? Just get him going. Um, but I love the fact that, you know, the crew's back. Like... We've got a Logia user on the ship, and we're not even batting an eye. You know, Frankie's just trapping him in a barrel. <laughs> like it's nothing, you know. Like the word Logia used to put such fear in me, where I'd be like, oh no, like we can't be dealing with a Logia. But now I'm like, yeah, bring it on. Bring it on. Um, yeah, you know, seeing Luffy as that as well, using third gear and using armament hockey, along with third gear, elephant gun. I mean, I can't wait to see him actually use it on someone outside of, like, we're under the sea right now. 
and he was like, you could see him straining, but I can't wait to see him use it in an actual fight. Um, but I, I know as well, like with the armament hacky, I know you guys saying to me that going forward, like after the time skip, you would get a visual kind of indicator for when hacky was being used. Is that what that is? Like the colour of Luffy's arm changing? So is that what's going to happen from now on just to kind of show you, oh, this person's using armament hacky, you know? Because before that, it wasn't clear, you know? You'd have, like, people during the war using it and, like, people with, like, Sabode and even, like, um, like the uh, Amazon Lily and stuff, and you basically had to rely on other characters saying, oh, they're using hacky. So this is much better. I like this. Um, because now I can, like I don't need someone in the show to tell me when hack is being used. I can see it, which is perfect. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's, it's just a great sense of adventure. You know, we're under the sea. You know, we're getting we're getting the Kraken. We're getting the Flying Dutchman. Just let's go. Let's go. And we're heading towards Fishman Island. Obviously, we know that Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji will be fine. They will be fine. Um... You know, where we find them is another story, but they'll be okay. Uh, and I cannot wait to get to Fishman Island. Just, like, not only just to see what it's going to be like um, and what can I, what adventure lies in store for us there, but also because I just want to see Jim Bay again. I'm so excited to see Jim Bay um, after a couple of years. But yeah, guys... These were great. I like. I, I am just. I. I'm just excited. I'm just excited to be happy and enjoying One Piece again, and not like. I like. Marine Ford was a masterpiece, right? And like that stretch of One Piece there was amazing, but my little heart couldn't take it. Every episode I was going into, I was like, "Oh no! Like, what's like? What devastation are we going to have here? Right? You know, like what's." Like the bone clay stuff, and then going into, um, you know, Ace and Whitebeard dying like right one after the other. Like I was like, oh my god! Like I just I want to be happy again, and this is just this is it. Like I feel like I get that fun sense of adventure back going into this arc, which is great. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Everyone that has and comes back, watches, comments, likes all these videos. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks, guys.